Welcome back to the channel guys and today we're going to be talking about hidden costs when purchasing your first jet ski. So this is part of our jet ski series beginner guide. If you haven't seen the rest of the series go back and review all the videos because there's plenty of content now on my page. But today we'll be talking about those pesky hidden costs that are involved. So let's crack a can and uh, let's have a chat. Go ahead, roll the intro. Let's get into these hidden costs. The first hidden cost you should probably be aware of is when you do purchase your ski, it doesn't actually come with a trailer. So I thought they just turned up and they were always on a trailer. Lucky for me, we keep ours on a dock um, so we don't need to worry about a trailer, but that is definitely a cost for the majority of people that you do have to go out and purchase a trailer, either from the dealer or secondhand, but they are roughly sort of 500, maybe up to the 1500, two, two grand mark. So can be quite a cost just to get them to the water. So that's cost number one. Hidden cost number two. So the second hidden cost is once you've got the jet ski and you've got the trailer, in some places like in Australia here, you do need to get a license and that's around $150 for a boat and jet ski license. You can't just get a jet ski license, you have to get both. So that's your second additional cost straight off the bat. Your third would be registration. So you're gonna to need to register your trailer and also your jet ski. So there's another two costs there involved. So they start to add up. Not that we want them to put you off, but these are just costs I want you to be aware of. So when you do walk into the dealer or buy one second hand, you know what you're getting involved with because no one likes those pesky hidden costs. The next hidden costs involved would be life jackets. So for example, it's requirement to have a life jacket. It's in your best interest to have a life jacket as well. What I suggest when you are getting life jackets, well, just on a side note, is that you get a quality one that's gonna last because with the wear and tear of the salt water, if you buy a cheap one, first of all, you're gonna look absolute <laughs> But second of all, you want something that's gonna last and more importantly, keep you afloat when you do fall off because at the end of the day, no matter how good you are on the ski, you are gonna spend some time in the drink because it's all part of the um, jet skiing. So get a good jet ski, probably around the $100 mark in Australia, maybe a little bit cheaper in the States, but get a good life jacket. That's another hidden cost because they don't come included. The next hidden cost I'll bring up is it's kind of optional, but you'd be probably silly not to get it when you are first purchasing, and that's insurance. So in the case that someone unfortunately steals it, which is hopefully unlikely or it does break, you do want insurance, so that can range, in Australia up to $100, but I see overseas it could be anywhere up to three, four, five hundred dollars $500 per year, so definitely another cost involved with purchasing a jet ski. Next cost is sort of aftermarket and after you've been up and running, around the sort of 10 to 50 hour mark, you wanna get your first service on your ski. So I know you've only had it for 10 to 50 hours, but they recommend you do get your first service. Services are probably for me the biggest money maker for the, the jet ski industry because they cost so much. So a uh, typical sort of service will cost you between sort of 300 to maybe five or $600. So they are quite expensive and you have to get one every sort of X amount of hours based on the age of your ski as well or, or based on time. Another one as well is winterizing. Um, if you're not gonna use your ski for maybe two, three months at a time, which in a lot of places where it snows and you can't physically go out on your ski, you do need to winterize your ski. So you may want to Google winterizing your ski because that is another cost as well. Boom. And another small, tiny cost, but it's the small ones that add up that eventually get you. And that is the cost, even just for the decals to put on your number plate. They're roughly $3 per letter, so therefore, Costs you about 20 bucks, and unfortunately, as I've found out over the years, they do fall off of the salt water, so you do need to replace them. But not the hugest cost, but one of those little ones. And it, as they say, the straw can break the camel's back eventually, so just keep that in mind. So that's all the hidden costs uh, that I can think of that are involved with buying your first jet ski. 
at the end of the day, I don't want to put you off. I'm just trying to give you some more information so you know what you are getting involved with when you do purchase your first ski, which is a, a big investment for a lot of people, but a lot of fun and definitely worthwhile. Another couple of tips just to keep an eye out for, depending on the make and model that you buy, just ask them what's, in, what, what's included and what's not. Some include storage units and some of them actually are additional. IBR, which is the braking system on the CD Spark that I have, that's also an additional cost as well. So just make sure you're aware of what you are getting and what you're not getting when you are purchasing. At the end of the day, this wraps up episode, I think we're up to episode 15 of our jet ski series, so we are pumping along. So hit the subscribe button, go back, check out the past videos, plenty of content on there. And uh, like always, we'll see you in the next one. It's not good for you is it, but it's so addictive, it's like jet skiing actually.